It's New Beer Thursday! Woo! And uh, we're going to Belgium today. Yay! Yay. All right. That was weird. It was. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're doing St. Bernardus ABT 12. Um, and if you know anything about me or have ever had a conversation with me about Belgian beers, you know that I claim this to be better than Westy 12. Wow, you're going straight for the straight for the straight for the throat? gusto, yeah. Jugular. Yeah. Well, because yeah. you know that's I think that's going to be an overall theme for this episode is kind of a comparison between this beer and Westy Twelve because Westy Twelve or West West Lederen, I can't remember West, West Lederen. Whatever. Um, I will now have Matt say that word for me whenever I need to say it. Just point. Um, so West Lederen. <laughs> yes, uh, Twelve is listed as one of the or is listed as the best beer in the world. Well, that by like Plan- beer that and, and Plenty the Younger right. are always duking it out. For the However, spot. you do mention that, and I'm not trying to interrupt you. Mm-hmm. This also has a hundred on rate beer. Mm-hmm. Right, and Carry it's on. and I think it's number eight on Beer Advocate. Or at least it was right. at one point. So carry on. So it's, it's I mean, it's, it's it's right up there. Um, however, this beer is available at almost every one of your local liquor stores yeah. all over the country. You say that, and I agree with you. This is a beer I always see because of the monk on the front that's really mm-hmm. happy, and he's drinking a beer. Monk he's really happy because he's life. drinking this stuff. Yep. Yeah. So um, this is actually, it's brewed in uh, Watteau. Watteau? Watteau, I have no idea. Watteau, uh, Belgium. It's actually brewed, I think, about... Nine miles away from uh, you Westy. You expressed your gas so poorly. I was going to say, good job expressing the gas, bro. Now, this is bottle conditioned. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it should be said. I mean, you know, like Westy, uh, I'm sorry, Westy 12. Well, Westy 12 is classic, but St. Bernardus ABT 12 is like one of your like absolute prime examples of like a Belgian dark strong or Belgian quad. I mean, if you're like, hmm, I wonder what this style tastes like, this is one of the best ways to start a yeah. style. And I mean, it's a know, classic beer. I'm really glad we're doing it. And these and these beers have four levels. There's like a, a six and eight, a 10 and a 12. Right. Um, I think uh, West Mall does that. Rochefort. Rochefort does that. I don't think um, West Mall it does, but. Ro- no, Ro- not Ro- West Mall. I was thinking of Rochefort, Rochefort yeah. Rochefort, yeah. Uh, Rochefort and uh, Westy all do the, you know, and this is, uh, I think, they have the prior eight and the patron. Pa- pa- Patcher six. Patcher six, yeah. Now, is the different styles because the party guy brewing they do? No, it's or? the, I think it's the ABV level at the at the end product. So it's like basically a single, double, triple, quad well, kind of well, family. Well, yes, yeah, sort of. I mean, the, the, the six and the eight, you can both call them doubles or duels. Right. Whatever you call them. Um, and then they both have a blonde, too. Cheers. You cheers this, by the way, yeah. Um, and I will also mention, but, we are using the proper glassware for Steve. Just for me. A chalice. I'm the king. And I only have one, so we're using. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't think. Glass. Yeah, I don't think the little bit of the lip <laughs> yeah. on there is. Well, and this is this is technically a different style chalice than you would use for this, but it I really doesn't yeah, matter. Same yeah, damn doesn't really matter. He's kind of using the same thing on the bottle, <laughs> right? It has the more like sloped edges, but yeah. excuse me. But anyways, um, when you see Belgian beers like this, the number on it, the higher the number, the stronger it's going to be. Yeah, is the point. Yeah, and this it, one so. is. Uh, and I think it's 10, based on the Belgian 10%. sugar yeah. or the Belgian. What well, it's, was. yeah, it's it's um, there there are different ways to measure. Your gravity, uh, Plato specific gravity. Um, I, I think initially the number was a represent, representation of degrees Belgian. Degrees Belgian, yeah. Yeah, which is kind of close to. Um, they do their gravity. they do their thing their own way there. Yeah, like, but this is actually brewed from water that is uh, brought up from 150 meters deep. Their own well, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. that's a pretty common. And thing apparently, in scientists yeah. have determined that it's the same water that rained no. during Joan of Arc. 500 feet. Deep. Right, that's 150 meters. Oh, I thought you said 150 feet. <laughs> no, 150 meters. Sorry. I'm figuring we're in Belgium. I've got to use the universal <laughs> oh, metric you're gonna go system. Metric. I'm going metric because we're in Belgium, baby. Getting crazy. Uh, let's. Why don't we talk about this beer here? Yeah. We kind of were. Yeah. Well. About yeah. The, so the I mean, the, the water brewed in it is. They say it's the purest that you can get, kind of thing. So. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you think? Wow. I, like, I mean, like, you, you can't get more quintessential Belgian dark strong. Right. You know what I mean? You got that that fig raisin, you know, those really big, like, dark winter fruits. You get, like, a almost like a bubblegummy kind of, you know, Belgian yeast character. I get the bubblegummy thing, mm-hmm. you know, definitely. I mean, it kind of makes you uh, grit your teeth, you mm-hmm. know? I don't know if... Whenever I chew, like, double bubble bubblegum, like, it's so sugary. Sorry, say that again? Double bubble bubblegum. 
It makes me like want to just grit my teeth because it's like all that sugar. I don't know if it's yeah, just me. Well, yeah, because it's a lot of like wax and sugar combined <laughs> yeah, together. Did you ever go, like grind your teeth? Like you're like, ah, it's sugary. <laughs> you chew too much of that, yeah. and you won't have any teeth to grind. I, well, yeah. I don't grind. I, I just like uh, clench. Yeah, yeah cl clench it. Clench the teeth. Clench. Oh. <laughs> But I, um, when I smell it, I get that bubble gummy thing that makes me want to clench. Like, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely I guess the some, dark fruit and yeah. all that. I the only, black pepper. Black the pepper only negative too. that I have towards Ooh. this beer, um, and it's not even really necessarily a negative, um, it's just different than what I expect from this style, uh, is, the, is the head and the mouthfeel. The carbonation on it is a little bit bigger, a little bit more less creamy than I think it should be for a Belgian strong dark ale like this. It's more mm -hmm. effervescent than you more would like. More effervescent, yeah, a little more prickly. You know, I think, honestly, for, I, I actually kind of like that, just so because, I. yeah, I mean, you, uh, some of these beers, these really huge, dark Belgian beers, sometimes can get a little syrupy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I like that there's But that's kind of one of the flavor profiles you're going for. Well, I think it's more of a personal taste thing. Right, you know? and that's Which, why I say it's not a negative per se. It's just my thing. Like, if I do a side by side with this and Westy Twelve, that's where I give Westy Twelve, and it's really the only place I give Westy Twelve like a lead out of saying this. That's better than this beer is the is the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel in the Westy Twelve is a lot creamier, a lot more softer, so to speak. A lot more softer. A lot more softer. Yes. Or you could just say a lot softer. Or I could just say whatever the hell I want. Because I'm not in grammar school anymore. Because I... <laughs> so eat it. softer. Grammar police. Um, yeah, so it's a lot softer. There you go. Good job. Um, yeah, the more I... Uh, I kind of want this like as an air freshener. <laughs> I know, right? It's got that really... It's well balanced. There's nothing... Mm -hmm. It's You can't smell hard, any alcohol on it. I mean... I, I, I would disagree. I'm definitely getting some, some tingliness on the nose from the... There's uh, definitely a little bit of fusel from, in there, from, but it's... Oh, it, come on. You guys, but, I, I no, don't, it's, it's definitely... I'm going to go more towards John's side of things to say that it's just enough of what you'd want from this style. It's not yeah. at all, like, overpowering or unbalanced in any way, shape, or right. form. It's exactly yeah. what you'd expect from a beer this size. It's part of the style, for sure. I mean, you you want some alcohol character in there. I mean, one, just to, you know, show that it's 10 fucking percent. You mean on the um, aroma? Yeah, exactly. Okay. On the I mean, when you, on the flavor, I mean, you're not getting any kind of, like, you know, rubbing alcohol, like, you know, burn or anything right. like that. It does that. finish it's fairly a, dry, though. It does, you know? yeah. I mean, not in a super, like, tongue yeah, it's chopping not kind saison of way. Saison-y, dar saison-y, like, you, it, it dries out and you get that sweetness. Uh, not, not. It's a contradictory thing to say. Um, you get some sweetness from the malts left over, um, even though it does dry out quite mm -hmm. a bit. Um, you can still taste it, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah, say. yeah. I mean, well, it's 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 nice because it's drier. Like I said, it doesn't have that like kind of syrupy sort of effect. But exactly. um, yeah, it's it's still it still leaves some you know residual. We all have bad grammar. We are today. not having luck with language today, are we? Um, it started with meters. Yeah. <laughs> meters versus feet. Um, well, um, I think, too, if I remember correctly, this beer originally was brewed for the St. Sixtus Monastery back when mm -hmm. they were a Trappist brewery. Yep. Um, and it was, and they contracted it out to somebody else outside of the monastery. Right. And so they were, they were keeping their own supply that they were kind of brewing in-house. Um, high on their for own their own, yeah, for their own consumption and for selling at the monastery, and then like for any bars or stuff, whatever around the area that were specifically tied to them, they were getting that version versus what was being contractually brewed. And then <clears throat> I think in '92 the law changed that said they couldn't do that anymore, mm -hmm. and so they didn't re it up, re up it, so it became Saint Bernardus. So that's if you're looking for something way way old. It's not going to be St. Bernardus anymore. This is my first time having this, and this is a beer, again, that I'm going to say this. I've seen it many, many, many times. It's mm. always on the shelf, mm. and I never, ever, ever buy it, and I don't know why. Um, it's worth picking up. It's, it's, it's excellent. You yeah, know? it's fantastic. And it's, this, is, this is, I think, it's good that we're doing this now because we're, we're coming into fall, mm -hmm. even though it's still like 1,000 degrees outside. I Whatever. hate God. <laughs> I wish we'd just cool down. <laughs> Don't think Jesus. We're, we're not going to cool down until like Buddha. October. And Buddha. Somebody help up. us. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, but as we get into the cooler months, especially like 
the fall autumn season. Mm. This is such a great beer to have like at night sitting Definitely. out when it's still like dude, if it warm was enough like to sit outside but cool enough to kind of have that little bit of chill. 60 degrees outside yeah. with a little tiny fire. It's dusk. A cigar. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. It's a perfect this, beer. This, this, yeah. this, this I don't smoke cigar cigars, beer. but I could, uh, I, I like, I can appreciate I that sentiment. Smelling yeah. the cigar while I drink it, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's actually it's 95 outside and really freaking humid right now. So <laughs> I'm uh, waiting for the thunderstorms. Yeah. Final thoughts on this beer. Classic. If you haven't tried it, you need to. You know, I mean, they, like I said, there. Words they're, of wisdom from Matt Becker. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is in you know maybe three Belgian dark strongs that just exemplify the style. So you know, if you haven't tried it, do it. I agree. Remember that time you had the best sex in your life and you were like, oh my god, that was amazing. It's kind of like drinking this beer. Nah. <laughs> John's like, I wouldn't go there. We want to thank everybody for coming up and saying hello to us at the OC Brew Haha. That was awesome. It, it was, was great, great seeing everybody. Great event. Um, yeah. And they did they did a great job this year. It was a fantastic event and a great location, with the one exception of not having any cell phone service. That was a little <laughs> bit annoying. Yeah, we're not just saying that either. Steve was there overnight, and I showed up. Uh, he was there Friday night. I came in, I came in Saturday, and I never even I didn't didn't know Lake. Irvine or Irvine Lake existed. I know, I sent out some text messages. I'm like, is this really where I'm going? <laughs> like, so, because I always get off on Chapman and Dr. Bill used to live off that street, but you would go the other west way. instead yeah. of east. And so I went there. I'm like, all right, I'm going this way. And it was beautiful and it was like spread out. Mm -hmm. yeah. there, I mean, there was a lot of people there, but it wasn't like you were bumping elbows with people kind yeah, of thing. It, yeah, yeah, it, it, was, was, it, it wasn't nuts to butts or anything. And, yeah. and it was like the perfect temperature, a tad hot. But there was a lot of shade, mm, you yeah. know. Well, that's the thing, and it, it, it there's so much room for expansion for the next yeah, few years. Yeah, so definitely. it's gonna be great. The camping was awesome. I got if really, if you really want, drunk Friday night. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, you spent most of your time in your chair. I did. Day. I was <laughs> like, I don't want to get out of this chair. <laughs> I love this chair. This chair is my baby. I, so fantastic event. We're um, really happy to have been a part but yeah, of it. Yeah, I, I would encourage them to have it at the same place next year. Definitely. I mean, it was just. I think it was perfect. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, they had it at the, it was like Irvine Meadows or. It wasn't Irvine, no, it wasn't Irvine Lake. It was Irvine like, Lake. No, 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 no. Oak no, the, first, the, bef the year before was at um, Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. They have like a, a little, oh, a little side thing section. Yeah. Right. What it used to be called Irvine Meadows. Like now whatever. that's becoming apartments. <laughs> it was nice there. You know, but yeah. this, you know, what it's, this was it's, a lot better because it was so much more spread out. Yeah, it yeah. was a lot of room, and yeah. there was, I mean, a lot of great beer. It wasn't just the standard pale ales and brown ales and blah blah yeah. blah. Most you know, of the beers there beers had something, bad, nothing, right? But, but most of them had something special there that they were offering. Most, that, if not all. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, he, Derek brought his sour right. that I didn't have home. before. Yep. Bootleggers right. had their Newport Far Beach. Out IPA. Mm -hmm. I know Ballast Point brought some good stuff. Oh, and, and congratulations to Bootleggers for winning People's Choice Award. That's all. second year in a row Indeed. too. Yeah. So, um, uh, Aaron has a better than you would. There was a bunch of breweries there I never. <laughs> what? That this is a stupid tweet. Don't um, worry about it. Um, I'm just I'm just saying I, I was yeah, really was... really impressed with everything. Like I, I there's nothing I can really say. Yeah, bad it's about definitely. It. If you didn't get to go this year, definitely make it a point to come. Had the beer this year. IPA, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was delicious. Yeah. I don't know. I only drank like 18 glasses of that because I was like just standing by <laughs> your. Seriously, booth I, I was I was standing here so, and I must have. I was had just like Sam here. Three <laughs> pints of that beer. <laughs> Uh, GABF is coming up. We're very excited about that. We're going to be having our uh, bottle, our bottle share party, our bottle and James party. We're still working at our <laughs> bottles and James party. Wow, no, we That's will what it not be. be doing that. <laughs> we're going to have a hangover. wine cooler party. Worst hangovers ever. <laughs> yeah, no, we're 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 still working on the details of how we want to do it. Um, but we're definitely going to be posting a Facebook event here pretty soon and we'll have more details on this week how you can be a part of it this week. Yes, <laughs> this week it'll probably be up before the show. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Don't quote me on that. Also, um, we're really happy to announce that Total Wine is actually going to become a sponsor of ours in a couple weeks here. We're working out the details with them on that. And to kind of launch that, we'll be filming next week uh, or a week or two from now uh, with uh, Rob Hill, who is Total Wine and Beer, Total Wine Beer on Twitter. So we're excited to have that, have them on board, and we want you guys to support Total Wine and Help us out by I saying, hey, Total, Total Wine, Wine, we love you because you support me every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Go and tell them that. Give them money because they're giving us money. No, Total Wine, um, I'm sorry, dude. As far as, um, in, at least in Southern California, uh, next to the other big the other place chain. to get your beer, yes. um, I think it, it, they have 
way more selection. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and not not just because they do, but it's like the you, you can get really geeky beers there. Um, well, and they really do pay attention. They're very to what proud. Their they're very the proud of their. Well. They're very proud of their beer program there. Mm, yeah. And they it shows. And so and they're doing like especially with a lot of their new stores, they're doing some really cool stuff. Um, I think right now, if you go to the new stores that have the TVs, you get to watch Master Pairing episodes. Nice. So yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like, I, oh, oh hey, right. that's but we're doing awesome. All right, I'm drinking. Let's go. Nice. So anyway, so we're very happy about that. I'm gonna and, take girls um, there and be like, hey, you want? Some? Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, what? That guy looks. I really, familiar. I really feel like Yvonne would have a problem. Well, with that. by girls, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> my girls, you mean girl. And Ivana would be like, yeah, can we go? They're like, let's go with some like, wine. Oh, look, I'm on TV in Total Wine. <laughs> She's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, so anyway, as always, until next time, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. Cheers.